Hey everybody, welcome back to Dragon Warrior, part two of our tour of uh, the island on Dragon Quest Builders 2. Whoa, look, oh, that's just a chimera. Okay. All right. So we're just finishing up the um, the uh, the farming village. Oh, Obviously, we, we, people are very happy. We didn't well, check out your barn. Oh, yeah. Oh, and then there's also a weird thing that we should check out over uh, a nice little barn, a little robot friend. <laughs> Uh, there's your weird tunnel thing over here. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, there was a weird like tunnel, like natural tunnel thing. Like I can't fill it completely with muddy water for some reason. Um, yeah, like, like I like the idea of just because I'm such a paleontology nerd, and just know that, like with preservation bias, like you get like a lot of, like most of, or not. I don't know if most, but like you get a lot of preservation from bones being washed into like caves mm -hmm. you know it's where you get a lot of uh, your good fossils and I was sort of creating a uh, what's there's a German term for it Heiferschnief uh, I think it's probably Heiferschnief I'm gonna say Lagenstaten or so, yeah, so, something I'm embarrassing myself but there's like a point of special preservation you know the, this idea that like a, a big mudslide had washed a bunch of like remains into a uh oh it's so cold here now <laughs> uh yeah moving on <laughs> segueing into this area um made it a winter wonderland with uh, like yellowstone style hot springs yeah like yeah that's a uh, thanks very much to jacob and his idea to put in hot springs in here like this yeah. Um, and then... Like, oh, yeah. And again, none of the snow, none of these trees, none of this shit existed. <laughs> yeah. This was this was all us. Uh, we're heading to... What we're we heading towards here? It's like, oh, my Ooh, God. Oh, my it's gosh. A, it's a very pretty castle. Which is, like, the kind of the rough template is built in the story. Oh, and that moving statue? Don't worry about that. Yeah, yeah. Don't, he, he's just a, he's ignore a, that, please. He's a buddy. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this is... Like the pyramid, they put put up some walls. They put up some things that like I had no control over, uh, and instead of just like tearing them down, I built around them. But it was Jacob can attest to this. It, it was very rough. <laughs> yeah, the the castle was, template. Yeah, it was just like a so they like make fun of how bad it is. Uh, it was just a couple walls, and I feel very proud of what I've done within. Like those. Oh yeah, I recruited a small saber cat. Cool. Oh, I, the small ones can double jump too. Weird. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, bizarre. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, peek around. We've got some uh, my garrison barracks. My Mister Garrison. Ooh. Uh, what's Mister Garrison's quote? Like, what's he always saying? Um. Okay. There no, that's uh, Mister Mackey. Oh. Oh, here's my kitchen. Nice little, large castle, uh, <laughs> nice large castle kitchen, bro. Uh, oh, this is thanks to Jacob over here. Uh, little, got the greenhouse. Yeah, nice, cool greenhouse. Uh, this green grass existed on the, you know, and it's like, it just didn't make a whole lot of sense up here where it's wintry. So Jacob was like, let's make it a greenhouse. Mm -hmm. Oh, and like, I didn't even know. Like a library was something the game was looking for. I just like started it's like, man, I just want a library. I want a like a cool library with like a ladder and a fireplace and a comfy chair. Although I do wonder if it's a bad idea to have a fireplace next to so many books. But okay, well, okay. Have you ever been like to those Instagram like you know, greatest libraries? <laughs> you know, no. with, the, with the the bookshelves built around the oh, it's <laughs> I don't know. Okay, that was the showers. Okay, uh... Down here? Sure. Whoa, my god, what the F? Whoa. Oh my hey, god! Hey, buddy, hey, <laughs> stop, stop the clipping. I built a dungeon. Uh, a couple dungeons. Wow, actually quite a few dungeons. Yeah. Some of them are like storage areas. Yeah, and uh, like multi-purpose rooms. Um... And here we are on the outside of the room. Oh, it's raining again. Yay. Oh. And it's like always raining in this area. Yeah, which, uh, you know, I prefer if it snowed a little bit here. 
I know. Well, I mean, growing up in Montana, like, it does rain when there's a lot of snow on the ground, and it's just really gross. Like, and it just makes everything muddy and wet. Like, ultra wet. Um, so that was oh, the outside of the... And I have a Yeti. Oh, the, uh... Let's check the second floor here. Okay. Uh, on these little tendrils? These, yeah, these landings. Yeah, I was so proud when I, like... Like, I had this vision, and Jacob was there in person when I was like, I have this vision about what this will look like. And there's no ceilings or anything, and there's no... There's no stories, there's no... Windows, there's no anything. What What do you mean? Oh, like in the original castle yeah, template? Like, yeah, in in what we were given. Yeah. And, you know, made, made a bar on one side and a dining room on the other. I like that you did, like, separate little... I don't know. Floofies. Like, you know, I wasn't, like, completely sold on it at the time. Okay, and then the throne room. I'm so proud of. Oh. I was... Saber cats. So miffed that my throne room didn't fit within the, like, small confines of what the game considered a throne room. Yeah. Uh, so I just... Just to make the game happy, I'd made, like, a shitty throne room and then quickly demolished it just to do this again. Yeah, because it doesn't even calculate this as a room. Yeah. Like, the game is frustrating, <laughs> like, with, with its limitations sometimes. Okay. Oh, and uh, here we are Ooh, in this nightlight. back room behind the throne room. Uh, and, like, I don't know. Like, I just, in my mind, I was like, this is the coolest room ever. <laughs> yeah. You know, it, it looks out over the greenhouse. Yeah. And one of like the things that you kept talking about is wanting the throne room to be the highest point of the castle. Yeah. I mean, maybe if I were to do it again, I'd build higher. Uh, higher. Oh, and then like I was obsessed with the idea of building peasant houses, mm -hmm. and like pe peasant built like houses built for peasants. You know, not everything had to be orderly. Like everything just had to be like. You know, scatter shot like you would expect to see if somebody lived there. Like I started putting down rubble and weeds and shit. Yeah, and like this kind of crooked stairs. Yeah, you you'll I mean, see more of that. You'll see more of that later. Definitely gives us the vibe. Oh, there's my townsfolk fighting monsters. And there's your big saber cat. Hey, buddy. Woohoo! Um, I've got a magic shop on the one side of the castle. Oh, okay. And oh, and were you just about to miss the? No, I wasn't. I was just wondering about heading up the mountain, but oh. we'll do, we'll finish stuff up here oh, first. There's, there's my kitty. Get a cat. Ooh. Oh, nice something. Little. My uh, there should be a picture in that picture frame. But oh, oh, maybe because oh, I'm not logged online. Yeah, yeah. Here's a second floor room. I don't know. Just like quaint and cozy. For like sure. Places like I, w I would want to spend time. Mm hmm. Um, and then, like, I think this is the crown jewel of. <laughs> you can kind of see it there. Well, let's ignore okay, that for yeah, now. Like, yeah, ignore that. <laughs> you didn't see it. Hey, little snowman. Oh, okay. Oh, this was this was fun to make. I uh, made a little, like, um, fun coffee house. Yeah, I mean, it's like. So, like, this was one of my favorite. Like, when you had built this and showed it to me like one of my favorite things that you've built and I st still think it's like one of my f favorite parts of the island like if I was to live here like just always hanging out here this yes. little outdoor um, uh, onsen thing oh yeah dude and we made that very or you actually you made that like right away yeah um, alright and then we're getting around to like one of our mo uh, newer buildings this is cool <laughs> So this this is, is a music hall. Okay, and this sucks that it's raining right now. Can we go rest yeah. so it's not raining? Well, it will let us sleep, but... Oh, son of a bitch. Okay. Maybe we'll come back and look at that. We'll have we'll a look at that. There's something really shitty about, like, the way certain light fixtures fit in the ceiling that rain will come through them. Yeah. It sucks. Okay, so... Uh, oh, yeah, this bridge? Yeah, oh. Joe and I built this stuff here together. Um, oh going up the mountain we wanted to do this like kind of rickety old path up this mountain because Joe had built a a lighthouse, a lighthouse up, here. up here and Jacob was like okay let's make this have make sense you know for this this treacherous mountain path oh he just got done going poop 
Yeah, people go to the bathroom up here a lot. Okay, if you're wondering what Jacob collected there, it's the poop. It is. Uh, for some reason, although there is a bathroom in the castle, they like to use the bathroom here in the... Well, there's more privacy. <laughs> Little uh, watchtower. Oh, right. Playing cards. Not, uh, um, lighthouse room. Yeah. Oh, and I, I've changed instead of uh, oh. braziers. Because you can't see the braziers. You can't see the fire from the braziers through... Um, the glass. The glass. Yeah. There's a uh, weird tech thing with that. In the same way that you can't see the ocean through water. Or I, I mean, you yeah. can't see the, the water through glass in this game. For some, You can't see fire either. Okay, so should I go over there? Oh, I guess it's not raining. Let's go okay, check out Okay, yeah, the, let's... Uh, okay, to the left. Let's go around oh, this way. Fly around, see it yeah, from the outside. Okay, so what we were going to see before is this fucking thing. <laughs> Jacob and I are masters of Swedish architecture. It is very uh, artsy. It's, it's, yeah, it's fucking rad, dude, is what it is. Uh, also, big thanks to Krista for um, for the prompts and the... Yeah, so... You, one of the like big objectives was to make a music hall, which is like a room with a bunch of instruments attached to uh, a bathhouse. A bathhouse, which is odd. Um, uh, so our our vision whoa, was so much nice, bigger and it. grander than what the game had in mind. So we made this giant room that was so big it didn't count as a room. So we had to divide it in two. But I still like it. I still like how it turned out. And there's still that problem where you can't oh, see yeah. the water. See, we are seeing the ocean bottom here. <laughs> and we didn't know it at the time. Oh, I mean, I we guess, did. We did know it at the time. It oh, just, I guess. It was just worth it to oh, us. But, okay, let's wait here until nightfall. Let's just uh, take it easy until nightfall because I think this, it's the prettiest at night. Okay. Cup of squat. Yeah. Just, uh, chill and just take it easy. Uh, these are black lights, which is a little bit impractical because, you know, you're oh. really going to pick up on all the blood, urine, and semen. <laughs> this, uh, <laughs> this room was, uh, okay, all of these, um, uh, all of these windows had to be dyed black for the frames. Yeah. So we had to collect, spent like a week collecting black dye. Yeah. Uh, and we didn't do that. So you did that. Yeah. That was a, that was a job and unto itself. Uh, but, oh, it's, I love this place. It's so neat. It's and like that impractically huge window. Yeah. Well, and then the, uh, it's, it's aligned actually to the astronomical events. Like so, at, on the winter solstice, the oh, moon dude. will be directly in front dude, of this piano. Dude, I wish. <laughs> I <laughs> wish. You wish. Okay, let's so, check out the this part of it. So, oh, and yeah, little like obser observatory. What Which one be? of us thought that uh, was I think a good that, idea? That was my idea. Okay, yeah, to make it like a little like uh, like a terrarium sort of thing. Just because oh, we this, had a weird, awkward space in there that. And this, like, big, like, rock feature in the middle? Like, we didn't build that. That was just there. Yeah, and we wanted to incorporate, like... It, yeah, into our, like, you know, very Swedish architecture. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know if I'm using that correctly. Yeah. Like, who, who makes uh, the, um, that furniture, the, uh... Or is it, is it the Swedes that make the, um... I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, you know, the things... The, the things, the, the Swedes, the with the, the dill, the dills, the dills, the dills, the dill holes, <laughs> the farmer in the dill. Uh, dude, is <laughs> that freaking rock man sleeping on a bed on top of that nun? <laughs> okay. Oh, also, like almost all of these people, like I've recruited. I have uh, fair. You, did, you didn't hear that the nun and the rock man got married. <laughs> oh, that would be so cool. Uh, can nuns get married? like we can, we can make a chapel. Uh, oh, nuns can't. No. Well, maybe they you can, know what? They it's can't our marry island. humans. They can marry rock people. Oh, just in the way they they can marry uh, Jesus. Mm hmm. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Jesus was a rock person. He was a golem, sort of like a reanimated. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dude! So you've put a lot of work into this. I have not oh. seen your updates oh, on the. Yeah, Jacob has not seen this in a while. Uh, dude, this sick. was a dilapidated ghost boat. 
just like left on the end of the the game and Jacob and I was like oh man this would be so cool but like it would just be too much work and then I spent like a week doing it <laughs> <laughs> okay so I'm I, I'm just so excited for Jacob to see some of the shit like it's not it's not all finished but like just that it's cleaned up at all is yeah like just the whatever this is called the sternum the the stern the prow I don't know is that, okay this looks like yeah really good he yeah. was really dilapidated yeah and it's, it uh, seemed like a absolutely massive project yeah uh very few of these windows existed uh there were some like porthole windows but um okay so it this is like the last I would have seen was this okay and uh, not to the this okay and check out here on the right uh, right in the reading area like instead of the um oh if you look up uh it's a skylight instead of those wind uh lights yeah nice yeah I like that better and it uh rain it doesn't rain through the skylight <laughs> oh nice double nice uh, oh, I was trying to create a fortune telling room based on one of the schematics uh, or the um, but it wouldn't count recipes on online. But for some reason, it just would not count. Hmm. Uh, and then Ooh. this. Wow. Oh shit! Because we're not online, we're not seeing pictures in those frames. Oh. Uh, Lacy. Weird. Sydney. <laughs> Okay, uh, I don't but, understand. What does it mean? I like that picture. Yeah. Didn't you find that one on your game? Oh, yeah. I guess I just okay, never And then it. turn around and look at the other one. Whoa. That's the uh, Japanese cover for uh, Dragon Quest 2. Where'd that come from? DLC, baby. Ooh, baby. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, this is something Jacob made up here. <laughs> you just but, kept it intact. No, it's like I like it. It's like, okay. You have a museum, and this is the kids' room where the kids yeah, go. Yeah, that yeah. Like just kids come and hang out and play up here. And and that's what I was thinking. Like you know, it's like okay, this is a like a kids' room that you made up there. Mm -hmm. You know, what would the kids have to be preoccupied from? It's like uh, looking at art. You know, oh, uh, yeah, this this backspace. There's the ocean. Nice. I, I wish we the, could have, like, a, for the channel, have a before and after. I know. You know, because I, <laughs> this is a lot of work. Yeah. Um, um, really? Let's, okay, so. Okay. Okay, oh. look through the, the glass there as a diagram, uh, diorama. Uh, and this is all Krista here. This was her room. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, she even chose <laughs> Edge Lord a, room. She even chose a piece of music for that, uh, for the piano. But like, because this Ow. isn't technically a room, like all of the water, the water spaces around the island became that piece of creepy music. Oh, the great. creepy pyramid music. God damn it! <laughs> you might have to eat something, dude. Why? Oh, I'm fine. Okay. Oh, and do not fire any of the cannons okay. because that will blow part of the ship away. <laughs> Really? I learned that the hard way. Oh, bummer. Yeah. Um. I mean, maybe not all the cannons, but the cannons in this room for sure. So yeah, this is definitely your uh, edgy room. Yeah, this is this a, is your Spider-Man three room. This, this is <laughs> this is the Halloween room. Uh, yeah. Oh, go to the right, up the stairs, okay. real quick. Um, fire the cannons. No, please no. <laughs> please no. S Please. Okay, there's there's still still plenty of spaces to create rooms and do things with. Uh, what do you think of this? Of these like big spiky guys? I like it. Yeah, I did too. I did too. I thought you would approve. Yeah, I approve. I feel like those cannons aim forward would maybe yeah blow some stuff up. Yeah. I like the lights. Thanks, dude. I like looking through that. Yep. Like, yeah, creating windows, trying to create a, a cohesion through these spaces that were just divided up into rooms. This is your Fifty oh. Shades of Grey themed room. Uh, I head the, to the, <laughs> the I, I did not even touch this dungeon. This dungeon is exactly like it was. I made this into a changing room, but like if you look to the right, uh, go ahead and dive out. Whee! There's our anchor. Oh. Like, yeah, made an anchor for the ship. Joe, you're my anchor. Which is a, just the way to climb up into it. That's pretty sick. 
Thanks, man. Um, I would have preferred if, like, you know, yeah, it's, it's a little tough. You're gonna have to dive off and, like, s sail into there. There you go. Okay, all right. Uh, made this into, like, a little changing room. Like, uh, like a mud room? Like, take off your boots? <laughs> yeah, after, kind like, of, like, in. <laughs> uh, you know, it's kind of half... Oh, and this is the very, like, hull of the ship. Whoa. Yep. Okay, so, Freaky. first door on the right is the ladies' room. Ooh. Sexy. Um... Boys room? Yep. Just scandalous. <laughs> uh, okay. Two halls. The, well, it's the same it's like, hall. It feels like Stanley Parable right okay, now. Okay, that beam in the middle was there. That's... I was working around that beam. So it's a support beam. Okay, so this, uh... The really swanky, like, uh, dormitory. Drop I, down I, dormitory. I was trying to make a bunch of rooms I'd never made before. Uh, from prompts from the game. Mm hmm Um, putting it on spaces on the, the boat. Oh. Ooh. Oh, whoa. Checkerboard. Yeah. Nice pink piano. Ooh. Yeah, like a, like a dance club. Yeah, dude. Yeah. So I could just imagine, it's a, it's a, like, another one imagine of, how many drugs are going to be done in this dance club. <laughs> it's another one of Krista's creations. Babes. Babs. Oh, and this is, uh, I was so sad this doesn't, that didn't count as a living room. Because, like, I had everything we needed for a living room. Uh, but, but it's just because of this, like, weird multi-tiered... Yeah, for some reason it didn't count. But This is, like, definitely where people come and they smoke cigars and talk about... Yeah, this like, is... Uh, skeevy things that they're doing in the business. Yeah, this is a 1970s ass, like high end lounge. Yeah, uh, but like, yeah, like, uh, Clint Eastwood is gonna be here. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that was the um, that right. was the boat. Yeah, a lot of that's new to Jacob. Yeah. Uh, the only yeah, like I said, uh, just like the basis of. Oops, we can go that way. Uh, just like that one, r one of these rooms, uh, basically on this boat I'd seen. Yeah. Um, and not decorated, either. Yeah. Still, still a lot that, for a lot of potential, a lot of things to do. Uh, thing, uh there's things to refine. There's one more thing that we need to check out. Okay. Um. And I think it's arguably the coolest thing on about the island. Okay. Honestly. Gotcha. I mean, would you not agree? Do you even know what I'm referring to? I do not. Oh, oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> okay. This is a fun story. Okay. <laughs> this should be ocean. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and that dam there, like that wasn't to keep the water out. That was to keep the lava from spreading. We, so, okay, this mountain up here, we get this idea that's like, oh man, so you get lava, how sick would it be just to make like a volcano? Like, oh yeah, that was like, as soon as I saw that, like you told me that the, uh, like the, um, bottomless pit that you can collect lava if you upgrade, or your, uh, bottomless pot, that, uh, if you upgrade it enough, you can get lava. And that was so exciting. Um, I'm trying to get up there. <laughs> And as soon as soon as like I had locked that ability, and I don't even think you got that for your your game. No, I hadn't yet. Uh, so like as soon as like I got it, like like I was like I was just waiting for you to pour the lava so we could create the volcano up on top of this mountain, and then like you know, so, and then we let it go. But what we didn't know is that the lava spreads and spreads and spreads and spreads, and it would eventually take over your island. <laughs> Yeah. And we looked it up online. It's like, what's going on? Why can't we, like, suck up all the lava? Like, because it's, like, going too far. And they're like, don't pour the lava on your main island because <laughs> it will not stop. And so, uh, it took, like, a couple different saves and, like, loading. Uh, we couldn't load, like, obviously, we couldn't load back to a save that there wasn't lava. But, uh, like, one to where it hadn't, like, grown quite as much because it, like, expanded more when you were looking at it. So, uh, I went and I built this wall, 
and then we just started the process of like this stuff down here is scaffolding to soak up the lava uh, uh, so that yeah as we like inched around with our bottomless pots soaking like like yeah trying to like soak it all up into the yeah our magical pot um yeah that was that was touch and go and uh you actually come over to my house and we were talking about and you were you were doing it by yourself i was like buddy maybe you should go home and we should do this like online so there's two of us and you're like no i can do it Uh, yeah and Uh, and, and you did yep and you got it absolutely and uh uh we (laughs) speaking of wanted to keep the lava uh we just keep it in uh, this like little pond here in case we need it for something. And then uh, you were in the process of building like a blood hot spring or something. Oh yeah, yeah, like an evil bathhouse. Mm-hmm. Uh, another prompt from the game to create a, an evil bathhouse here on the beach. I think it'd be fun. So basically, the idea will be. Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, like at some point, like filling. Or, or building, like, something in that big hollow space where there's... Just go and build up with the sand, man. Okay. Uh, no ocean. Something in here. Uh, yeah. Like, I don't know, like, some sort of underwater city that then we fill back in with ocean. Yeah, w- with, like, uh, like pipes leading between domes and shit. Uh, and then breaking that dam and letting the ocean fill it up again. Which would be way easier than trying to, like, build something in slow motion like we did before. Yeah. That was brutal. Uh, but fun. Yeah. I mean, the, yeah, this whole game has been... God, it's it's a treasure. At first, I didn't think I liked it as well as the first Dragon Quest Builders. But, you know... You know, with Malroth... Like, I don't think there's any character in the first Builders that is as fun as Malroth. No, for sure not. Um, And just just the amount of things that this game lets you do and the the ways it lets you build it's it's been a fun wild ride well and because like in the first game like making your little uh, the because there's like the different story chapters mm-hmm. where you go to another place and you're building like a, a town um like that is stronger in the first game but the first game doesn't have like this just completely like wide open island to just kind of go nuts with. There's like well, something it does, similar, but, like a, it's, but it's a it's a like a tacked on mode at the very end yeah. after like you have no invest it, like emotional investment. Yeah. Like this this the main island is is always there and it and it like I'm emotionally invested to this island in the way that the like your do everything you want island just didn't have like it it, it was just like an optional mode. You know, that existed outside of the canon. This island exists inside the canon. It has, like, all of my friends from the game. They can come back here. Like, I'm building shit to make them happy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's... It feels organic and natural in a way that it didn't in the first game. Mm Mm-hmm. So, that is the two-part tour of Joe's Island. We hope to see you back tomorrow... I like. I think you're underselling how much you've contributed here. Oh yeah, I mean I've done some stuff for sure. Like, a, you know, probably like four or five nights or six even. Like I think it's like you, like even as much as like time as I've spent. Like I think you're you're responsible for most of the cool sh- or like, I like slightly I've, more I've, than half of the cool the I've coolest shit. I played a part here. in in a lot of the cool things. Yeah, but uh, you definitely go and put the finishing touches on. I'm more of an ideas man. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, seeing the the island. And check us back tomorrow uh, for whatever's going on. I think tomorrow will be Thursday, so we're probably doing some scarage way in honor of October. <laughs> so, <laughs> Resident Evil. Uh, so subscribe and check us out then. Bye.